now let us see so this is a magnetic needle this is a metallic conductor placed over that compared to the circuit so that the magnetic needle is rotated just now you have seen an activity in which i have allowed the current through a wire and i kept a magnetic compass under it when the switch of the battery was on immediately the compass needle has been deflected it clearly indicates that the current passing through the conductor produces the magnetic field current means moving charge so now moving charge and its relation with magnetism so today we are going to talk about moving charges and magnetism to begin with this topic we have to talk about oil states experiment this is nothing but the replica of the activity what i have shown in fact it, it was an accidental discovery eierstedt wants to demonstrate the function of battery in one class and in the other class he wants to talk about the magnetic compasses and magnetism while demonstrating the function of cell he has kept fortunately the magnetic compasses under the wire when the cell was switched on a current was passing through the wires and the magnetic needle which was kept accidentally under the wire was showing the deflection then immediately he realized that there is a relation between electricity and magnetism before that we were studying electricity as a separate entity and magnetism as separate branch of physics but after this oyster's experiment we could establish a link between the electricity and magnetism that was the significance of oyster's experiment what is the significance it could establish a link between electricity and magnetism now it looks very simple activity but before that nobody knows that there could be a link between the electricity and the previously we know that the magnetic field can be produced only by some magnets take for example for example bar magnet or lodestone but now we can say that this magnetic fields can also be produced by current carrying wires so this is the new source of magnetic field let's watch the animation of the ampere right hand roll so in this when the current is in upward direction we have to keep the thumb in the direction of current and then remaining fingers will show the field lines so here it the field lines are in the counter clockwise direction when the current is in upward direction 
Now, if I change the direction of the current, you would have observed that the magnetic needle is deflected and then the direction of the magnetic field is also reversed. So, previously it was in the anti clockwise direction. If you look from the top, now it is in the clockwise direction. If you look from the top, 